everyone, welcome. This is Melissa with the stockswish.com and I'm going over RAD. RAD is continuing down, I am all out of the position. Had a great exit though. This really could keep going. I really couldn't hold it any longer. I held it all morning. I was at this for an hour. That's like a record. It's still going there. Here, right in the room, how much money everybody made and also basically what everybody did with it. Like, is anybody still in this? Shower Singer made $3,000, amazing. Wheezy made 150, but that's good Wheezy. Although today you could have practiced doing this actually with more size. Journey Woman made 1634.72. Very good. And by the way, if this doesn't continue down here at 75 and break it, you have to be out. Trader Gal's still in it. That's fine. Put the stop over 81 ish. Gala had made 2,800 on 10,000 shares. That's good. Jaguar Paw made 800, that's good. Jaguar Paw, how much of that did you take? You could have taken more than that Jaguar Paw. It was a 10 cent stop. Jaguar Paw, it's a great call, Melissa. There's no one out there who can be as sharp and accurate as you are. You are a sniper. I really am. And you know what else today? I wore, those, I wore the earrings. I got up this morning and I was like, I really want a good one today. When I saw the Oracle, I was like, give me the mojo. I'm, I'm sitting here wearing my fabulous, fabulous Ippolita earrings today. I wore these when we did that one trade. What was the one where I wore these? I wore them the one day, and then I was like, I should wear these every day, and then I forgot about them. And, and then I remember them today, and I put them on. I'm wearing them every day now. If I wear $2,500 earrings, maybe I'll make the money for the earrings every day. Here, here we go. Under $775, rad. I'm out of it. I had to do it, but this is still going. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go over it in a minute. I just want to see, because uh, I missed like pretty much everything anybody ever said all morning. Um, but but Jaguar Paw, you could have taken more size. I I I am so far behind in emails, it's not even funny. Oh, my Lanta. Look, this is still going. Trader Gal is still in this, though. I'm all out of it. Wow, you got four more minutes and 30 seconds. I would not stay. This is going to bounce at 1045. At 1045, it's going to bounce at 1045, wherever it goes. Next number, 770, 760, 766. You, you, I don't stay in this past 1045. It's been dropping all morning like a brick. It's great. It's fabulous. I love it. If we didn't have the minutes this afternoon, I'd say stay until $7. But you can't. You can't. Why? Because the market. Actually, let's go over the market before we go over the rad. Market is going to go anywhere to the minutes, but I think it blows when the minutes happen, and it could blow over 205. Yep, that's what I'm seeing. That the minutes will actually make the market rally in the SPY and blow over 205, and in the Qs, 110. And that's why you have to do the trades, and you have to be out of the trades. I did a great job of this today. I couldn't have done any better than I tried. Would anyone have held this all the way down unless I was directing you today? Just, just, just answer me. Just be honest. Those of you that had amazing days, that had comma days, would you have held it the entire position without me directing you? I'm just wondering, like, how much did you like the gap? Would you or would you have not have? Galahad said no. Yeah, definitely no for you, Galahad, because that was a crazy amount of size. I, I almost can't believe you took that much size, but it worked. New Jersey trader said no. You wouldn't have held it without me telling you to. Well, you didn't have a comma day. I'm not sure how much you took. How much of this did you actually take, New Jersey trader? What size did you have? If you had 2,000 shares of this, you risk $200. Is that your normal risk unit? If your normal risk unit is $200, you did everything right. If your normal risk unit is more than $200, then you didn't take enough size. Shower Singer said he would have been out two hours. Here, this is really, this is the exit, people. Three minutes from 1045, market minutes this afternoon, out. Let's go over it. Ashley said, no, you wouldn't have held it, but you were stuck in the comment that I'm going to play Oracle. Yeah, but I also said one thing before the open. Let's see who pays attention to the things that I say. I only talked five minutes before the open this morning, but everything I said you should have listened to. I said there's a lot going on today. You're going to have to pay attention today. If you're here for the open house, you should just observe today. Why? Here, this is it. Exit. Done. Out. I command you. Everyone out. That's it. That's the morning move. Anyways, I said it's going to be hard to follow me today. Why? There's too many things to look at. There's a lot of things to do. I'm not sure which I'm going to do. I'm going to watch Oracle first. But 
they never set up and I never did it. And this is one of the reasons that people like to learn from me. Why? Because, because I'm so good with the entries. Because I'm so good with the entries because I know what the entries are supposed to be. In fact, here, let's just read everything I said about everything today. Let's read it. I'll just tell you everything I said about rat. Well, let's go over the rat. I mean, I rated this one back. You can't even read my writing here. This, this sheet looks like a piece of garbage. Um, can't go over 835 max. Prefer 830. I would really like to see a rally first, which it did. Really want to see, well, I really wanted to see it rally to 830. But it didn't. That's, that was another sign of weakness. Pass is set up by 9.35, 9.40 the latest. Rally should be quick, fast, and done. Wow, that's exactly what it did. That's exactly what it did. And this didn't even go to the resistance. Weak, 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 weak. And what did I say about this this morning? No one in the planet is buying this today. And that's one of the reasons I held it on down. So this is going to practice doing it with, with the size I had. I could have taken more. But actually, we did the right thing uh, because it's been a light week. And so, you know, I figured, hey, if this goes, then I'm, you know, whatever, I'm happy. Like, literally, uh, I would have been happy making $1,500 today because it's been such a light week. You shouldn't have been stuck in the comment that I was going to play Oracle because I never took the setup. You can have everything up and watch everything, and I had all the ratings. And basically, Oracle didn't rate as good as this. Now, I want, I really, I really thought that Oracle could have a big move. Well, we're gonna go over the Oracle in a minute here after I'm done with the rad. But, but I'm, I, I really, this is not gonna go a dollar today. I mean, we did it. We made great money in it, and just goes to prove to you, something doesn't have to move a dollar for you to make the money. It's based on the risk unit. How do you know about that? You have to take the right size. You have to know where the entry is, and you have to put the stop at the right place. So if you don't know how to do that, you can't take a stock like this and make, you know, $3,000, which is exactly what I did today. That, that's, it's almost incredible, actually, when I think about it. This is the exit, though, people. Here, this is what I made today. There. And I took some Oracle pre-market, and I killed it. So I actually lost $300 in the pre-market in Oracle. But I made this in the rad. Oops, there it goes, right. So I actually made $2,900 today, but I made 3,300 in the, what you call it. I actually took some Oracle pre-market, which I'm experimenting with doing, and then I, then I just killed it. Anyways, all right, let me get rid of this. Um, well, because sometimes I'm in the pre-market, sometimes I see something in the pre-market and I know it's going to work and I love it and then it falls $5 and then I'm like, <clears throat> so I'm like not going to talk about that right now really, but I, I'm, I'm like experimenting with pre-market trading because I'm sitting here for two hours and sometimes I know a gap's going to work and it, and I could take a couple hundred shares and make, you know, I could, I could make, sometimes I could make a thousand dollars or more even in the pre-market. So I'm kind of experimenting with that. I'm not going to go over that till I figured it out, but We'll see. Anyways, I ended up killing it. And then I and I just killed it with the three hundred dollar loss. But the rad was the one. So let's go over the whole thing here. All right, so this opened and rallied. Quick and hard and fast like I wanted it to helm and we shorted it. Even gave it a cushion. Got filled every single penny I wanted. My average cost, which actually above eight ten, because I kind of grabbed it here and it backed up a little and I grabbed the whole thing and I want to make sure I got in. Click with the stop in. I, and, and again, I had 10,000 shares with a hard stop. I actually divvied it up in two lots. You could have done that in four for the stops. And then it dropped. And then I was up in here and I was thinking, should I just book $1,000? And I didn't. I didn't. I did not. Let it rally back. Didn't lower the stop here. Waited for the break. Lowered the stop to break even. Stayed with it. I usually don't lower the stops at all because of the size I had today. I did. This is, I'm really proud of myself today here, actually. So as it turns out, if this ends up being the low of the day, I got out three cents, four cents from the low of the day. That's amazing. 
And it's not like we even tr how to do that every day because it's really impossible to get out of the low of every day of every short. This could have gone to 760 today. 775 was the next target, so I took it. No, here, over here I took it. Okay. Time of the day is late. You could have added in here. I felt that that would ruin my price, 10 cents into the number, with the size I had. So I didn't. But I was thinking about doing it, and then as I was thinking, it broke. So I just laid off. Look at this. So this is institutional selling that's happening today. And occasionally we like a gap that is getting sold off by institutions. And yet traders try to buy it. Why? Because traders believe the gaps fill themselves and all kinds of crazy things that don't work. But I knew today that we had no one against us. That doesn't happen all the time. We didn't have traders against us. You had the institutional selling. You had shorting. You, you had it all. You had it all. Okay. Did anyone try to take the trade on the second call on the ad and not get filled? Everyone should have gotten filled while I took it. And actually, we usually don't have a problem getting filled because I'm so aggressive when I take the entry that usually no one else is trying to get in where I'm in getting in. We'll go over Oracle next. But does anyone have any questions about RAD? I did an amazing job in this today, not just the call of the GAT, but also for the fact that I held the whole sucker down. And to be able to make over $3,000 on a stock at this price, that's amazing. This is why I love this job. I just paid for the earrings. I, I, I'm, I'm going to wear these tomorrow. I'm going to just keep buying more earrings, actually. I'll buy one for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I'll wear a different pair of earrings, but they must be fabulous. <gasps> I should go buy the ones that were $5,000. Then we'd make a million dollars. They're probably sold already. They had one pair. That was like three weeks ago or a month ago. I should call the girl. I'm really going to do it. In fact, I'm going to text her right now. What did I see in this chart? I'm going to text her right now. So I didn't even tell you. I I went to a real life fashion show on Saturday on my birthday. I should put some pictures. I do have everyone should go to Twitter and follow me there because I have pictures there. Anyways, I've I've spent so much money at Bird Duff Goodman. They got me free tickets to the show. I was in second row up front. Second row. Second row up front. The only people that are in the front are celebrities and press. We we had the best seats for not being press or already a celebrity. I had we had, I had better seats than people that were there from all the other New York Housewives places because they they were all people there. There were famous people that were behind us, up 10 rows up. Second row, me and my girlfriend were there up front. We were like, this is amazing. Here this goes, it's trying to break again. And it's because of how much money I've spent at the store. Yes, just got me the tickets. I had a great seat. Wow, look at this. This is crazy. Here it goes. I'm I'm completely out of this. Here, wow. If this breaks 770, it's gonna go to 760. I'm not gonna complain with myself here. I mean, I just did an amazing job with this. If you weren't already married, New Jersey trader, you'd marry me. <laughs> the problem is you'd complain about everything I spent money on. <laughs> you'd be like, you bought this? Um, Wheezy said you go, girl, you love me. Thank you, Wheezy. There's always tomorrow, you're really, there's always tomorrow, you are really an expert in this. I have to spoon, spoon feed from my brain, or what are you saying? A sponge all from your brain, my brain? I don't know what you mean by the sponge word. S-P-O-N-J, I think you spelled sponge wrong, Ashley. I think you meant sponge. Oh, you want me to buy you pretty things, New Jersey trader? Hilarious. <laughs> sure, I'm, I'm good with men's fashion. I find it very attractive when men dress well, which some men do in New York. When you walk down Fifth Avenue, you see a lot of men dressed in suits. But around here, not always. Depends where you are in the city. All right, that's it with the rat. Any questions about the rat? 
Ashley's wants to sponge and collect all the information from my brain. Well, that's why you're here. That's why you're here every day. Let's go over the Oracle. The best dressed looking guys are all gay. Not all, well, no, there, there, there are good looking guys in the city that are not gay. Sometimes it's hard to tell, but you're right. Gay men do tend to care about what they look like a lot. All right, let's go over Oracle. Where did it actually go? This is a piece of crap. All right, let's go over it. Ow. Wow, we stayed out of trouble in this today like nobody's business. And I and 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 honestly, here, 3650. This what did Journey Woman want to go over? Journey Woman wanted to go over the gaps in Oracle. Was this an earnings gap here? This was an earnings gap today. I forget. Was this an earnings gap here? I don't even remember. Was it or wasn't it in June? Straight men should pay attention to what trader gal? How to dress? Uh, Journey woman, where was the previous earnings gaps? You'll have to tell me the dates because I, I don't remember off the top of my head. And we may or may not have done them. And we do gaps for so many different reasons, I forget. If you want me to look at them, give me the dates. But as as far as today goes, no one should actually, actually be, have shorted Oracle. And I called a number, then it never hit, and then we just got off of it. But I was watching this pre-market. In fact, let's look at the pre-market. Trader Gal says, men should dress attractive even if they're married. And there's the advice from Trader Gal. And I wholeheartedly concur. Um, this really was last night. This morning then, it started to look good, and it started to look good, and then then it just didn't have the follow through. Then it broke, finally in here, and I was like, okay, fine, good, now it's getting better, but then it flipped. And it actually, now that I'm seeing this, reverse swooshed. We, we got off of it like before it actually did it, but this actually reverse swooshed, so no one should have shorted this, and Ashley, you should have saw that and known that too. She would have never shorted this, and I was preempting the setup, and I was calling numbers, but then they never hit, never hit, never hit. We got off of it. See, I'm really good at reading the initial five minutes. All right, I'm like, ready, ready, off. So you got to be ready, but then you get off. And I'm just, this is, I'm reading it in live time. If we had shorted Oracle today, we would have lost money. We did not. We made money in the rad. Wow, this is hilarious. Wow, this, this could get a 760. I still think I did everything right with this today and got to give myself a shout out, but literally this, this might go another 15 cents from where I took it out. It's crazy. New Jersey Trader says he, he, he doesn't need to dress well if he's already married. He's telling you, Trader Gal. <laughs> uh, if you have a short sale restriction on RAD, you should have called your broker like to get it to, to get the short. You have to check what we're shorting way before the open. If I don't call by 845, I don't get it. But I really usually never have to call. You really have to trade with brokers that have good short access. If you want a referral, I can email it to you. Ashley's saying you have to learn how to throw out fast, meaning take the trade or get off of it. I don't know what you're talking about then, Lala Linda. Trader gal's married. She does her nails and her toes and her hair. What's up with married people who don't care about how they look anymore? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know because I really don't know that many married people. <laughs> I know single because I'm single. I have a few married friends. All right, let's look at the oracle for a journey woman. Yeah, stay in the, stay in the rat if you're still in it. Okay, March 18th, March 20th. Here's the June 18th. That had a short in it, 
and flipped. This actually did have a short in it. It opened at 41.91 and went down a dollar. So this did have a short in it. I forget if we did it or not. Um, March 20th. March 18th, if this was the earnings back here, it gapped up. That didn't work as a long. It didn't gap down though. March 20th, I don't, I don't see anything in the 20th. What's the point you're trying to make here about this Oracle, I guess, Jenny Woman? It, it, this did have a short in it. It was a dollar. The other one was a gap up, didn't fall through as a bullish move. There wasn't enough panic in this today. Well, you shouldn't be worried about taking this short, La La Linda. If you can't get Rod to short now, who cares? No one should be entering this. This, who cares? This stock is down. It's done. This is done. I'm out of it. I've been out of it for half an hour. No one should be taking new trades now. It's almost at the target. This is really at the target. If, if you can't short it now, who cares? It's too late anyways. The short was this morning. If you're in here in a trial, you observe. If you took the short with me, got it. And there's no one should be shorting this now. I don't think this gets to seven dollars today. I said seven thirty dream target, and it's eleven o'clock. That's forty cents from there, and this is it's not going to get to seven thirty. You're looking for seven sixty five, seven sixty now. Uh, let me just see everybody else's questions. I think I got everything. I mean, it's really. You can't start to, I see where you're going with this, uh, whatchamacallit, journey woman. The reality is you can't, you can't say, well, Oracle fails in every earnings. It, it gaps down and then rallies. It gaps up and then drops. You can't, you can't say Oracle never does what it's supposed to do. You can't, you can't say that. You just can't, okay? It's, it's not about that. Every day is different. Every gap is different. Every everyone is different. This is why you have to look at every gap on its own and rate every gap on its own and take all the pieces of the puzzle together and figure it out. And on top of that, you also have to have the setup when the stock opens because it could look amazing and perfect and we could be in love with it. And then it could not even set up and we don't even take another trade and then we don't even do it. So we have to have, it's a combination. It's the combination of the gap rating. Look, 765 just got there. This is craziness. Wow. This is, I really think this is it though. This is that, yeah. Terrific. So anyways, the point I'm trying to make though is that it's the combination of the gap rating and the entry because of the fact that you can't just say, well, it never works right. Well, if it did on that previous gap, it actually had a dollar drop. I don't remember if we looked at it or watched it or how it transformed. I don't know if it happened in one bar, if you had time to get in and short it and make the buck, but it did have a drop in it and flipped. I also don't remember what the gap would have rated. I'd have to go back and read it. Okay. This rallied though, way over the number, way over the resistance I wanted it to hold. I had the maximum resistance in the room. And it went over it. And so then there's no excuses and you don't go back and short it. Yes, I'm here tomorrow. Why wouldn't I be? All right, let's look at text. The last one from today. Oh, my Lanta. Oh, we did the best one today. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. Yay. Oh, it's going to be a good day. Wow, there was a short in here, though. Let's go over it. Look. This dropped, 25 cents was the risk, dropped, came into itself, actually had a move. Oh, my Lanta. This was a target? Crap, hold on. Oh, my Lanta. That was a target. I, I wrote it in the room. Here, I'm going to copy and paste it again or scroll up. I cannot make this up if I tried. Oh, no, I didn't write it in the room. I only gave it the $18. $18. I was rushing. No, I didn't write it. I didn't write it in the room. I didn't give you every every squiggly number number today in this. I had too many things to look at. Oh my god, I love this stuff. I love it. The 
Oracle didn't really want to. I wrote down what I wanted Oracle to do. I said Oracle must drop ASAP, breaking hard red into the open with a big sell-off bar. It didn't. It didn't do that. It started to do it, and then it made a tail. So Oracle did not set up the way I wanted it to. Rad did. What did I say about Hex? This did hold and had a sell-off. It just didn't go anywhere. We did, the best, we, did, we did the best thing today. Today could have been a huge day, which it was, with a stock that's still selling off. Or today could have been a terrible day because text didn't work right and follow through, even though it had one move, and Oracle completely failed. There were three gaps today, and we did the only one that worked, and it's working huge, and it's still going. And that's why that's why you people are paying me to be here. All right, any questions from anyone at all? This is Melissa Arma with StockSwish.com. Rad was the play of the day today. Have a great day, everyone. Have a fantastic day.